What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, and before this video starts, this is a paid promotion by and sponsored by Netrato. If you guys need service, remember to always go to Netrato, official host of Arc. Um, and today is the video. It's basically a tutorial how to set up your server for Extinction and Arc. Um, Netrato asked me to help them, you know, make a tutorial video for you guys on how to work things and get through the files and things like that. I don't know, more of a tutorial, more setup, I would say. Tutorial is a strong word. But uh, say you just got, you know, you got your account, you just rented a server. Um, so first of all, you want to come here, go to my services. I do this every single time. This is how I do it. This is the server that I'm going to be using to show you guys. I have multiple servers set up doing all sorts of games. I'm also in charge of Royals things here. When things go wrong, I have control. And so you want to go basically web interface login. Then you want to come click that. And you're now here. Now what? Well, first of all. We're going to be setting it up for extinction. So we're going to go to general. I do not advise switching any of this to like advanced, like expert mode. Just stay out of that. Um, unless you're really, really advanced into, you know, the any settings and things like that for ARC. Just stay out of that. You can mess a lot of things up. So it's pretty simple. We're, we're going to put extinction on here right away. And it's easy as click, put it on extinction. Save. That's, that's where it comes to getting extinction on your server. I do advise sometimes, though, start with the island launch it, get it started up, join it, make sure your server is actually working, um, just in case you messed up a setting or something, and then flipping it to extinction. It just, it just, it's, it's a good tr troubleshooting thing if you do it that way, just in case you, it's not like a new server or you just switch the game over, just to make sure everything's kind of there. Um, next thing's next, we're going to go down some of these settings that I would you normally do. Say you want a server name, you know, we'll name it Demo Storms, what is it? Uh, Extinction DLC server. And I always add hosted by Netrato because they do sponsor me and give me servers to host for you guys. As the viewers, you can find out more about that in Discord. Um, your message of the day, this is what pops up when you first log on. You know, you get that thing at the front. So I usually just write hi or go check out the Discord. Make sure you read the rules. This is where you'd put your rules. It's a certain amount of characters, guys. So trying to keep it there. You can also change that in game. Um... So, we're going down. Server password, that's what you would have to type in if you want a password. Admin password, this is what you log in with. So, when you log in a server and you say you're just using it to do things, enable cheats, and then this password, this is just a basic password. You type in that on the server. You're now an admin on your server. Or, what you can do is we're going to get there in just a second. This is the restart countdown. So, if I hit restart, how long it will take before it actually restarts. They also have it if I want to restart the server, I can type in a message to the people. And if there's a countdown, you know, it's 60 seconds, I can put a message that will pop up to everyone, just like the message of the day. Eternal saving, I don't mess with that. Battle eye back. You guys, this is just your anti-cheat. I advise always having it on, unless you know there's people on your server who are cheating. I advise not to ever cheat. Just going to say that right now. You also can start Easter events, Extinction Chronicles event, or the Archaeology events currently. Um, I'm sure there'll be more there shortly. Gameplay log, that's if you're, you know, trying to track things for fine survival of the fittest. I haven't met many people who do that. Spectator password, I avoid. Um, if you're doing PvP and stuff, this allows people to look around the map, and that's not really cool. Um, you can also start from a back, but say something's messed up, you can roll it back to whenever. Remember, these times are not based on where you are. It's based on Germany, I believe. As you can see right here, convert. Um... Then you have, you know, the generated procedural maps. That didn't really work out. Okay, so here's the admin log. Say you want to use Archon and enable admin log, you can view the server log. Um, public chat logging. So basically anything the admin puts in, it will show up in public chat. Uh, this can notify admins whenever someone's cheating. You know what I mean? Or if they have admin and admin typing something in. So you can keep an eye on your admins if you're running a larger server. Um you know, activate the logs. This just puts it in a notepad for you, and I'll show you guys where to find that. I don't mess with the buffer. And this is where you can prevent people from uploading their dinosaurs and things like that from your server. I have them off. I don't know if they ever fixed it, but you used to be able to bring in things from single player into multiplayer, and I didn't like that. It just, people are cheating dinosaurs in and bringing in tamed broodmothers, and we had that whole thing. Oh, you can tame a broodmother. No, people are forced taming them and bringing them into servers. Uh, random supply crates. I haven't messed with this. This is brand new. Option to make supply crates completely random. That's actually cool. I would try that. So you get like a different supply crate every time you don't get the, you know, water skin or compass. 
And this is where my magic actually works for when I do servers is the whitelist right here. We're going to come to a website like this. I know there was like a random cut there, but you know, I don't want you guys to see my little history there. And you would, you know, take your Steam profile, which can be found here. We're just going to use Gar uh, Gaben's thing right here. You would put your profile name in. You can just find that by going to your Steam and just pulling it on up. And then from there, all you want to do is hit look up. This is your Steam 64. We'll, we'll, we'll use Gaben for here. All right. So if you want to be whitelisted, I do exclusive join. I usually put them both in here. This doesn't require a password, but this also requires them to be on this whitelist to join. That way you don't have to type in the password every time. This will make them an admin login automatically. So Gaben will be able to join the server without any checks, so no passwords, if there is a password. Exclusive join means you have to be on this list to even get on the server. And then admin, he'll log in with a star next to his name and he can use cheats right from the start. Then if you want to ban him, you can ban him. You can also pull in the ARC ban list right here if you really want to. That's up to you, depending on the amount of people on your server. And here's some basic settings. Flying inside caves. Most of this is really explained for you. Difficulty offset. This one I would always advise looking up the table, unless you really know your difficulties. This usually goes up to one, and then you can now override it. You can go to four. That's like level 800 dinos or something like that. I always get confused with this. It takes me a couple of tries. I've looked it up multiple times. Mess around with it. Find your, your even point. Zero, I believe, if we did point one. It's level 45. If we do zero, it's level 30s is max dinosaur. That's your max dinosaur, you know, level. So if you want really high dinosaurs, mess around with it. Get higher and higher, higher numbers away from zero. Um, here we go. Max structures. I don't mess with these. It just lag. Guys, don't mess with lag. If you don't like nighttime, this is your scale speed, so you can mess with them higher or lower, depending it also shows you the parameter that was be in the any file. If you're used to the any files, just mouse over it. Um, you can destroy all wild dinosaurs on restart. I recommend doing this when you're going to do a big restart. Uh, let's see. Containers lockable. I'm, I'm going to let you guys read through them. I honestly do this once and leave them for every single server. I just wipe the save. This is your PVE. Turn PVE on. All right. And these are the numbers that people usually ask for. Harvesting multiplier, three times. That be every time you hit a rock, you gain you know three times what you would normally get. Your exp multiplier, usually about three. Your taming speed three. So you want to get higher than zero. It's a multiplier, guys. Multiplying the time. So if it used to take, what was it? I can I can barely think of it. You want higher numbers here. <laughs> can lead to performance issues. Yeah, make sure it's not too high. This one especially, I recommend never going super super high. It, it starts getting into when a Bronto swings his tail, you're going to have a bad time. All right. And then you have your mating if you want to do breeding rates and things like that. Time between pregnancy. Smaller value equals more babies. So you want like 0.1 if you want to go nuts with breeding. Egg hatch speed. That's how fast they do it. We'll just do something ridiculous like 100. Yeah. And then you can come into baby mature speed. So higher number, you know, four times and things like that. So now if you want to go over to mods, guys, if you want to mod your server now, everything is set. Save. Never be scared to hit that save button. And if everything goes wrong, default settings is right there. If you guys want to now add mods, just come over here on the left-hand side, Mod Workshop. And this is where you can get your mods. There's some popular mods here. We'll go to Steampunk. I'm just going to click on it. And it adds this, the active ID that's already here. These are popular mods. Just give me one second, guys, and I'm going to open up another window real quick just so we make things easier uh, arc mods we're just googling arc mods real fast steam community we're going to the arc mods page all right guys so say you want this the ring of power mod right here at the top you can either a you'll put the id here or it can be found right up here after id equals just copy that come over to your interface and save Put that ID right here on active mods ID. Our mods there. This will automatically update. Yeah. As soon as you start the server, it will be downloaded. Next thing's next, guys. If you want to wipe your server, let me just double check to make sure they didn't add a feature to just wipe your server with a button press. I'm, I'm just still old school when it comes to uh, this has updated so much since I've been with Nitrato. I, I'm actually having a good time. Auto restart on update. The server will restart. 
automatically when the server gets updated. It's actually a good thing to keep on just in case. And since I'm not whitelisted, I can't actually get on my own server. Let me get my Steam whitelist real fast for you guys. Uh, We can actually go. Let's see. Let's whitelist myself on my own server. There we go. We'll whitelist code too. Alright, so now we're going to whitelist myself just so I can join on the server. I know it's a weird cut right there, but whitelist. We banned Gaben. And I'm going to save myself on the exclusive join. Code is also in there. Also an admin on my own server. We have it on extinction. Now, say you wanted to wipe your saves just because the server needs wipe saves for all these to apply you do need to restart the server guys remember that none of these settings will apply without restarting the server i go to shooter game i come to saved and right where it says save darks i usually just delete and type in saved arcs simple as that i just wipe the server <laughs> basic basically that's all you need to do to wipe if there might be another method I'm missing, they'll let me know when I show them this video. And now I'm going to restart the server. It takes about a minute because I have it set to 60 seconds before it will restart. So I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going to show you guys how to join the server. All right, guys. Welcome back. So we're at that point where I'm going to show you guys how to join your server. So hey, there's three ways you can do it. Well, four, technically. One, you can do it in the ARC manager. You can go and search for your name. Honestly, I don't recommend that. There's so many ARC servers out there that it's going to take you forever to search. B, you can click this link right here, connect to your server, a little thing will pop up, just click OK, and it will launch ARC and actually put you directly into the game. If ARC's already launched, it should just put you right onto your server and start loading it. Uh, C, you can take this right here, copy it, Control C, we're going to come down here, we're going to go to View, Servers, Add Server, we're going to put the IP right there, add a 1, that is important, add the 1, and now you can see... We got in our favorites. We have our supporter server. So yeah, basically we're on my arc server right now. I know that. Um, but basically I took my IP, put in there, it comes up in your favorites. Instantly favorited it. Very easy to do there. And then uh if you copy this link address, basically right click on it, copy link address, and put it in your Discord. You can click on the link for your viewers. So we're going to go back to the Nitrado main page real fast. Show you guys what other games are kind of offered by Nitrado. Um, this is just something I wanted to show you guys. They got their top games. They got, you know, more info about renting a Minecraft server if you want it right there. More info about other games. You know, they have the newsletter of current games, things going on. You know, all different ways to do it. Show a server profile. This is the Battlefield server that's going on. I have no idea. People are hacking or something. If you want to go to products, look at game servers. You can look at all different things. We can configure now if we want to. We can pick a game. There is a long list of games. The other thing you can do if you rent a Natrata server, basically, say I don't want space engineers anymore. You can have up to, I believe it's five games on my server at a time. Uh, you can just switch the game. You don't have to go and message anybody about switching over. You can just go and install it. And your saves will stay as long as you don't hit uninstall. But you can only have so many loaded on at a time. I believe it's five. It may be. Yeah, it's five. Right here. Currently one out of five. So if you want to have. Say you hit five out of five. Uninstall one of those games you're not playing anymore. Say I want it to be a seven days to die server now. I just install it onto the server. No talking to anybody. Nothing. If you need help, you can always just, you know, message their support. All different things. Support tickets. FAQs. All different things. Different languages if you want to, you know. We had German, English, French, Turkey, Polish. Dutch, Italian, Spanish, and Greek is what I can see there. Um, so, yeah, and I can go through my servers. So, if you guys have any questions, always remember to comment. Um, basically, loading into your game, very easy. If I want to now from here, I could just go to my favorites, come to servers, and I can load right from there. Just click connect, and it goes right into the game. Thank you guys for joining me, and thank you, Nintrado, for sponsoring this video. Adios, everybody.